So Microsoft Word is probably one of the most popular types of applications out there. It's a word editor, document editor. It allows you to go ahead and basically edit up a bunch of stuff within this particular page. So I'll give you a quick breakdown on how to do it. This is the online version, but the desktop version is fairly similar as well. And a lot of the core features are there on both versions. Now, if we take a look at the top, what we're going to see is that the layout is basically we're going to have our tab at the top, which allows us to edit up our Word document, and then we'll have our Word document separately at the bottom. So if we take a look at the top, we'll have a file button, which allows us to quickly go through and we can create a new document. We can open up an existing document. We can export this document into like a PDF or a doc, you know, docx file. We can move a file. We can do all sorts of things within the file portion. Under home, if we tap on home, You'll see quick edits where you can quickly go through and change the font style, change the font size, bold a particular you know text, add a table, change the header here, and even add Copilot at the very end. If you click on insert, this allows you to quickly insert a table. You can insert a picture, insert a table of context, uh, contents, a bookmark, header and footer, all these other things across the board here too. Under layout, it's pretty much almost the same thing. It allows you to go through and kind of edit up the layout of your document, which is at the bottom here. Under references, it's just, again, the table of contents and those types of files. Then you'll have review and view and your help page as well. If you ever run into problems, you can run into here. Now, then you have your basically your Word document you know, panel here. So let's say I were to go and start typing. Let's say I wanted to make a title, and this is the you know what I'm talking about. And then that's kind of what you've gotten so far, okay? Now, within a Word document, you have the ability of basically going through and just writing down exactly whatever you think. So if you're doing it online, it's going to save it automatically. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and, you know, kind of edit up the text size here, you can go through and you can highlight all over your text size. This block may come up, which allows you to quickly change your font and your text size and bold your text here. Or you can also click on the Home tab at the very top. And you can go through and you can essentially go through and you can increase the title size here. You can decrease the title size. You can also increase it or decrease it right here in this particular page as well. You can also click on the B if you want to bold it out your particular you know, text as well. So you have that capability there. At this point, it's kind of up to you. You have full reins on kind of editing and doing exactly what you want to do here. The main thing sometimes too is sometimes you'll have the capability of adding a header and a footer. So if you want to do that, you can double click at the very top portion right up here and you can change out a header. So you can add a header here, which can talk, talk about whatever you want to. And you can add a footer down here as well. So right down here, you can also, once again, talk about exactly what you want to add in a footer. Sometimes a header might just be like, you know, high level information about a document, things like that. Now, whenever you're ready and you want to go and save this out, what you can do is you can go through and you can essentially click on the file button in the top left corner. And you can go through and you can, you know, create a copy of this document right here. You can download a copy. You can share out these files by clicking on share. If you want to print out this file, you can click on the print button right there as well. So you have a couple of different options here where you can kind of modify them and kind of choose exactly what you want. So at that point, you know, that's kind of a high level on how to use Microsoft Word. It's a pretty basic type of, you know, application, nothing super crazy. And hopefully by now you have a decent understanding on exactly how to use Microsoft Word. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.